Hi, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and from unboxings.com looking here at iMovie on the iPad 2. Now, actually, iMovie was one of the things I was really most looking forward to using on the iPad 2 because I do an awful lot of videos, so obviously you're probably aware, and I thought it was going to be really great for us to be able to actually just take a, a small camcorder and the iPad and just put together little clips and foot, bits of footage um, you know, when we're out at uh, trade shows and events and things like that so that we can actually uh, get video up more quickly and with a, sort of a less sort of hardware involved. Um, one of the things though, that really is uh, somewhat disappointing about iMovie is uh, the lack of support um, for video and I'm going to just sort of like show you that now and also demonstrate um, what I've found in terms of a workaround. So uh, first of all I've got uh, an SD card here in one of the camera um, readers and I'm going to put that in the bottom here and I'm just going to go ahead and import this clip, which should come up in a second or so. There we go. So I've just got a 20 second clip here that I've just recorded and uh, I'm going to import. It's pretty quick to import. Uh, we'll keep that. And then if I unplug the card reader, it shows it as one of my last imports. I can go ahead and play that clip. This is a short sample video recorded on the Sanyo Zacti HD 1000. Okay, as you can see there, and if I go to albums and camera roll, it's not actually showing in the camera roll, but it does show in last import, as you can see there. Now that uh, should be fine because I'll show you in just a second. Um, that obviously that the iPad can play that video clip back. However, it's not showing in iMovie. So this is where our video clips that were available for iMovie would be shown. And obviously without being them being shown there, you can't import them, you can't edit them uh, within the actual video editor. Bit of a disappointment. Now I've tried an awful lot of video cameras uh, over the last week, well, week uh, to actually find out um, if any cameras that I own um, support uh, are supported. And uh, for those that aren't supported, to try and understand why not, because uh, obviously it plays through um, the actual uh, uh, photo app here on the iPad and it plays back and you obviously can hear the audio um, so it's a bit disappointing not to actually see that in iMovie so I think we've discovered the reason but I'll just come back, come back to that in a second so I'm going to pl plug in the Flip Ultra HD into the bottom here and do exactly the same thing so uh, again that takes just a second to pop up there we go and I have a 12 second clip again just recorded for the sake of you know, demoing this so we'll keep that imported clip and go into here I'll just unplug that first and I've got my 12 second clip this is a short sample video recorded on the Flip Ultra HD there we go just so, that we can so that's uh, shown there in the last import it isn't shown in camera roll that was one of the things that I actually thought was the problem initially with not being able to use the video footage that it wasn't actually shown in camera roll but that's not actually the case because we're actually going to iMovie now I can see the clip there actually although the actual um, preview image for that clip is um, in that up in the browser is actually wrong quite well that is the case not sure but as you can see there that clip is available for iMovie and uh, I can actually, actually put it into my edit window I can move it around as I would if I was actually using it for an unboxing video or whatever and uh, I actually can use it uh, which leads to the question uh, why can't we use the footage from the Sanyo Zacti? Now I think we understand the reason because the video format is correct uh, it's H.264 um, and the same video format as the flip which is H.264 as well but uh, the difference we've actually found between the two clips when we actually analyze them using um, like G-Spot or actually look at them on the I, uh, iMac is the audio encoding so they're both encoded, uh, encoded using the same audio format uh, the difference being that the flip records at 44.1 kilohertz and the Sanyo Zacti, which I'm recording on here, actually this video, 
uh, records at 48 and almost all the cameras, in fact all the cameras that I own, which is uh, quite a few, and all the cameras that we've looked at to try and get a comparison, with the exception of the flip, uh, record at 48 kilohertz. And that's where we think we actually don't have the support uh, within iMovie. Now trying to find a workaround for that, uh, obviously one is that we could uh, transcode the video um, on the uh, iMac and then import it into the iPad uh, and actually use it, but kind of defeats the object because uh, really what we're trying to achieve here is a minimalist, minimalistic approach to actually do the video editing. So I'd really like to be able to just take the iPad and uh, a camcorder and be able to uh, edit my videos and actually get them ready. And even if I don't upload them straight from the iPad, they are ready um, when we actually want to go and upload them uh, to YouTube. So a solution I've actually come up with, it's a bit of a workaround, it's not perfect, but just to show you. Um, Vimeo is uh, actually an iPad app, and uh, sorry, an iPhone app, and it is going to be coming to uh, a native iPad application shortly. But um, this is a little workaround, so this is a free app that you can download. And uh, if I set up a new project and actually look at the project, uh, I can include in my, this project, I can add a video clip, so we can add a um, video here, so the one that we're looking for is this one, which is actually 20.5 seconds, so we'll go ahead and import that video, and there it is, and if I just press play, we can prove it. sample video recorded on the Sanyo Zacti HD okay. 1000. So we can prove that it's the right video. And then what we can do is if we do export, it will render that video. Which is pretty quick, to be honest with you. And that is one of the other things that's great about the iPad, is uh, video um, encoding speed is really quite fast. So that has now been saved to the camera roll. Now if I pop back to the camera roll, having done that, through photos, and I look in camera roll now. I actually have my 21 second video clip showing in camera roll, despite having selected it through Vimeo anyway. And if I go into iMovie now, there we do have our video clip. So that's the one that we just ran through Vimeo. So that we can insert that in place, as you can see there. If I do play. This is a short sample video recorded on the Sanyo Zacti HD 1000. As you can see, so okay, it's not perfect. I've had to run it through Vimeo in order to get it here. So there's obviously a chance that there's going to be some um, uh, increased compression or uh, artifacts within the video. It's not going to be 100% perfect. But it is a little bit of a workaround that will work. And um, uh, I've used this uh, method a couple of times already. So uh, and I'll actually be editing this video that I'm recording here. I'll actually edit on iMovie um, on the iPad uh, in order to actually show that that does work and also also to demonstrate the uh, any differences in the video quality you're going to see there. But as you can see, I have exported that. Oh, sorry, I have imported that clip here. And if I was to actually go back, and if I was to actually go back to the project screen, then my projects, I can see it there. And again, I've got the, obviously the choices to export, and I can export to a camera roll in HD 720p comes up exporting movie obviously with those it's got a couple of still photos in there to actually with our uh, intro text with uh, a number of transitions that uh, 20 second video and then the fade out uh, through through to black and it's exporting pretty quickly processing at 720p and There we go. Uh, I'll actually save a copy into the camera roll. You can see there, going back, that is a video that we just exported with iMovie. So that's just my quick workaround. I say I know it's not perfect, and I sincerely hope that uh, Apple do expand the um, compatibility um, of iMovie in terms of like video uh, clips and uh, supported video clip formats. Um, I'd really actually like to hear from anybody else as well that's had any experience with uh, my movie on the iPad in terms of uh, other cameras that they may uh, may know that do and don't work 
with um, with iMovie as well in terms of the way it's importing. And also, I'd like to. It'd be great to hear from you in terms of uh, your success using my method here in terms uh, in terms of actually um, getting the video to appear in iMovie. Um, anyway, I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on TracyMat.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching.